dead already. Oh, why is my game froze? War Thunder! War Thunder! What is this? Oh my god. Are you serious? I'm going to be recording right now and this is what happens. Thank you, War Thunder. Thank you. It is very much appreciated for that. I don't know what that crash was from. That was just odd. Would you like to return? Yes. All right, so here's the big reveal. Am I going to be alive? Am I going to be alive? Because I, I, I crashed. No. I'm dead. Woo. So after suffering from our wonderful crashing in War Thunder, we now have some actual gameplay. So the T-72 turns is a vehicle in War Thunder that is a premium for Russia that you kind of have a ton of premiums to pick from whenever it comes to the tech tree. I do have a video on the T-55M or the AM-1, I mean. And you have this thing, and you also have the 2S38, which is three vehicles you can choose from. And to be honest, the terms is not really my favorite whenever it comes to uh, picking them. The vehicle itself is pretty good, yes. But at the same time, I feel like the BR bracket, especially with just how much stuff is starting to get better and better rounds, like DM-33. You have, like, the Merkavas with the M4135 round or whatever it is that can just clearly go through you. There really isn't much left for the terms to survive. I mean, you're going to survive X and ones you're going to survive you know dm23 but at the end of the day the weak spot on the terms is always just going to be the same basically it does do better on these types of maps though the only thing is i don't really have gun depression to be able to push these guys this area as much but what i do not have is reverse as you can see here the reverse speed on this thing is gone off so not really the best when it comes to doing things like this like kill peeking I knew I didn't really have much of a chance after that, so I'm just like, I gotta like try to make him like trick the shot into my track or something. But one thing to note in general with like the T-72s or just the 125 in general is to bring some HE. This HE round is very, very powerful. And if you've had the ability to use it when it was really broken, you would probably even use it over your APFSDS just because it would pretty much one shot Leopard 2A5s, Leopard 2A6s. So it was a really good round back in the day, but it has been nerfed a little bit. Uh, it's not really going to you know reliably get you the kills but it will definitely go after like spas like adats if you see them if you see stuff like the sergeant yorks you can shoot the little radar dish on top if you can see it and you should be able to kill them another thing to note about the t-72 is that you cannot affect the reload of this thing so if you have like really basic crews since you have an auto loader your reload will be the exact same no matter what you do to your loader stat which is something to always note on these types of vehicles it can be a positive, especially if you're starting out early uh, within the game. You, know, you don't have many crew skills, but if you're later into the game and you have a bunch of crew skills, it's probably actually a nuisance because you can get a faster reload uh, just with your crew skills, right? So that can be a little bit of a problem. Well, I almost got him. I really don't like these one cap maps because they just make this, they make maps this place super weird. Like I know we need to go to, over towards A, but the thing is like, it's just a bunch of hills. It's not a place my tank is suited for. Plus they have people going to our spawn from the A side because they got there first. See, it's because the thing I like about uh, three cap maps at least is that like you have you know your area you can go to that most of the time will be fine for you and like right now I'm just getting shot from behind do here they're behind me they're coming that way as well he's probably got his gunner back the 2k so I would kill each other but yeah I definitely feel like whenever you get like up tiers in this thing it is definitely a very very rough time within the terms because basically you're just gonna have vehicles which are completely better than you. Like in in the last game I played, which isn't going up on this video, we had a mixed game where we just had T80 UM2s on both sides, and they just completely run ran the game. So like, 
there wasn't much we could do when it came to our little bitty turns which is kind of sad in a way i don't know i feel like they they kind of like up the bunch of the premiums to uh 10 or 10 3 but like and, and a bunch of just those vehicles around that br for like br decompression but there's some i don't know for for example the terms i don't think it would have been that bad to stay at nine seven like, I feel like the really only big thing about it is the thermals. That's about it. Other than that, you're just a T-72A. So, I don't know. It, it, it kind of reeks of, like, uh, what's it called? I think it's like... So, get the striker out of here. And I feel like this is where this low, where this like uh, T-72 is going to be good at though. It's just you kind of camp with it, just wait for people to come to you. You know, just like hold a position, just let them come to you. Which I mean, to me, is not my type of play style. I don't really like playing like this. Because I feel like once you, is that a thing down there? Once you, um, once you get this sort of play style where you kind of just camp around and just wait for them to come to you. You get revenge bombed and like helicoptered a bunch because they just dislike you. I do gotta admit though, thermals being this good at the spot rating is a really good thing. Now I'm able to use a position, at least at this BR, I don't really think I've ever used much at all before. It's good. Hopefully our team can like control C. There's so many of them down there. E. Let's stop. Let's stop. He didn't stop. He kept coming towards us. I mean, overall, I feel like to me at least, the 55 AM is going to be your grinder. This thing can help support the lineup at 10-0, uh, especially if you want to play stuff like the T-72Bs and as well as the. Uh, what's the other one? It's the 2S23, I believe. The little Sprut. I believe that is one that is also Tenno. I mean, it's... The thing about Russia is the Tenno lineup is very much heavily, like, catered towards the premium. Like, the 2S38, you have the Terms. You have, like, your SU25, I believe. Yeah, SU25K. It's also in this lineup. So it's very, very heavily favored towards premiums. Like I said, once you stand up the same position just over and over, people get mad. Alright. Right, you just went through all that ammo. He is like so full of ammo. Jesus Christ, man. Drink, if you're watching this video, take some of your ammo out, please. That was just like an easy shot. Or easy kill. But yeah, we basically just stayed in this exact same position. This whole map. Or this whole match done pretty well it's probably the way that you play the terms you just go find yourself one of those like bs positions where like you can use your thermals very 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 well and then you just kind of just kill everything it's probably the best way to play t72 terms i don't know in my opinion not my type of play style i'd rather have the t55 am where i'm pushing points where i'm pushing you know pushing the enemy instead of just sitting back waiting for somebody to kill me with bombs. Like, see, we get the we get the thing right on key. Right on key. 